From TikTok to the Wall Street Journal, the notion of quiet quitting has become the business alliteration du jour as leaders and employees alike wrestle with what the concept means and how it may affect ways of working in the future. The term quiet quitting has been coined to describe an approach to work in which individuals meet the minimum requirements of their job description, but nothing more. No discretionary effort, no going above and beyond. And while the buzz around quiet quitting has taken hold in recent months, it's a workplace mindset that Gallup has been studying for years through our research on employee engagement. Gallup's research segments the working population into three categories, those who are engaged, those who are not engaged, and those who are actively disengaged. Many so-called quiet quitters fit Gallup's definition of being not engaged at work. This means that they are psychologically unattached to their work and company, and they put time, but not energy and not passion, into their work. Our most recent data shows that half of the U.S. employees are not engaged, and only 32% of employees are engaged. And unfortunately, the employee engagement trend is headed in the wrong direction, particularly for younger workers. Insights from Gallup's U.S. panel research on engagement among workers younger than 35 may help shed light on why the quiet quitting phenomenon has gone viral on popular social media channels. The percentage of engaged employees within this demographic dropped six percentage points from 2019 to 2022, driven primarily by declines in four key elements of engagement at work having opportunities at work to learn and grow, having someone at work who encourages their development, feeling like someone at work cares about them as a person, and knowing what is expected of them at work. While it's important to take note of metrics like these, understanding the why behind them is what will produce the most significant impact. Learning what these data are telling us helps us get to the heart of what fuels the appeal of quiet quitting. And in most cases, it isn't laziness. Some employees who embrace quiet quitting behaviors at work may be responding to burnout. The professional and personal demands and disruptions of the last several years have undoubtedly taken their toll and prompted many individuals to reconsider their priorities and their boundaries. Other workers may not clearly understand the value that their discretionary efforts produce, such as professional advancement, meaningful recognition and appreciation of their hard work, additional pay, or contributions to a higher purpose. These employees lack a rationale for why they are going above and beyond. For others, quiet quitting may be appealing due to a misalignment between what they and their organization define as the expectations of their role. Are organizations expecting too much for what they're giving in return? Or are employees offering too little for what they're receiving? There is no one size fits all reason that employees give less than their all at work. But fortunately, there are solutions for these workplace challenges and they're found in better management practices. Recently, the response around quiet quitting has raised a potentially insidious issue among managers, quiet firing. And while the dialogue around quiet firing is still evolving, it typically refers to managers who forego the best practices of great management, such as providing frequent feedback, coaching, development, and accountability and instead they do the opposite so that certain employees look elsewhere to find a new opportunity. Don't be that manager. Managers are best positioned to understand the symptoms and drivers of quiet quitting among their team members. Through regular, meaningful coaching conversations, great managers align with their employees on priorities, uncover and remove barriers, check in to see how individuals are feeling about their work, and provide recognition for their employees' performance. Aim to spend just 15 to 30 minutes a week with each employee on your team, whether it's in person or virtually. What matters the most is that you make the time count and you create a genuine human connection. 
In the meantime, don't let the hype around quiet quitting fool you. Curbing quiet quitting is possible by executing the fundamentals of good management and building shared mutual appreciation between organizations and employees. Strengthening relationships among organizations, managers, and employees will inevitably lead to higher engagement and well being for those employees, better business outcomes for organizations, and ultimately thriving workplaces.